morning sunshine starts off our Sunday morning around southern Colorado. You see the view from your Woodland Park Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center camera. Highway 24 at Fairview Street, 36 degrees the temperature right now. The winds are listed as calm, but those trees have been moving around from time to time as we've looked to, at them over the last couple of hours. Rocky Ford East of Town with our Viera wireless network camera. Here we've seen a bit more of a breeze this morning out in the plains than we have in areas along I-25 or up in the high country, and there will be a bit of a breeze as we go through this afternoon in those areas as well. This is your SkyCast wind speed predictor. Remember, these are the sustained winds, not the gusts, so there will be higher gusts than what you see here on your screen as we go through the afternoon. Notice that we're seeing double-digit wind speeds along I-25 as we go through this afternoon. Shortly before 5, it's 14 in the Springs, 13 in Pueblo, 12 in Walsenburg, and 13 in Trinidad. The gustiest winds start off in the plains, and then they begin to taper off a little bit as we go through the afternoon out in the plains, but they'll pick up along I-25. Both areas will see those winds go down a little bit as we go through the evening on our Sunday and into our early Monday morning. They'll be sitting between 5 and 10 miles per hour by the time we start off Monday morning. This is at midnight tonight. This is what the SkyCast is predicting. Highs today sitting in the 50s and 60s in most areas. Still mild, but not as warm as it was back on Saturday. 59 in the spring, 66 in Pueblo, 64 in Canyon City. Mountain locations will be sitting in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. 54 in Salida, 55 at Alamosa. Digging deeper now and zooming in on some areas out in the plains. 64 year high today in Ordway and also at Rocky Ford. 65 in Los Angeles, 61 at Kim, 65 at Sheridan Lake. Into the Pueblo region we go. 63 at Pueblo West, 64 in Penrose, 58 at Texas Creek, and 63 year high today in Westcliff. As we go up to the Pikes Peak region, high temperatures in the 40s up in Teller County. Of course, safe for on top of Pikes Peak, which of course is in El Paso County. 23 year high on top of America's Mountain, 48 in Woodland Park, 44 at Divide, 46 in Cripple Creek, 55 in Peyton, and 50. Six the high today in Falcon, 55 also at Briargate. Zooming out now to give you an idea of what's going to happen as we go through the next couple of days with that sky cast. You notice that there will be a few clouds this afternoon, but no showers, at least not in our neck of the woods. There will be a few showers in the southwestern mountains, according to the sky cast. As we go through our Monday, we pick up a chance for some showers starting at 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning north of I-70. You see the view by 9 o'clock right there near the Eisenhower Tunnel. And then that chance for showers really picks up as we go through the afternoon as another system comes towards the area from the northwest. And those showers will mainly be confined to areas west of I-25, but an isolated shower too could sneak its way across the interstate as we go through the afternoon. This is the view by 415 as we're picking up the kids from school. The bulk of what we see in the high country is snow. The bulk of what we see out in the plains will be falling as rain because temperatures there will be somewhat warmer. So how much snow are we talking about with our snow Tracker. We'll take a look at it one to three inches on a fairly widespread basis up in the highest elevations. Isolated areas of three to six inches along I 70. But for the most part, we should stay snow free, at least in the Pikes Peak region, until we get to Monday night, early Tuesday morning, when there could be an isolated slushy amount. Maybe as much as half an inch, an inch, thereabouts, depending on where you're at in El Paso County. 59 your high t today in the springs, 58 tomorrow, 48 on Tuesday. Then temperatures rebound, it's upper 50s and lower 60s once again after that brief cool down on Tuesday afternoon. Pueblo, we're sitting in the middle 60s for a couple of days running, then it's lower 50s on Tuesday. Lower to middle 60s as we go through the rest of the forecast. Lows are sitting in the mid to upper 20s across the board. In Canyon City, our high temperatures lower to middle 60s today and tomorrow. Lower 50s then again on Tuesday, and high temperatures are sitting in the lower to middle 60s again as we go through the rest of the forecast. Lows are right around the freezing mark as you go through your seven-day forecast. Telecom, high temperatures mid to upper 40s Sunday and Monday, then it's upper 30s on Tuesday with that brief cool down affecting you as well. Temperatures then rebound, make their way into the upper 40s to lower 50s as we end off the forecast. Lows are sitting in the lower to middle 20s. Overall, with the exception of Tuesday, high temperatures are at or above the normals across the board. So, while it will cool off, it won't exactly be chilly like it was early right. portions of last week. All right, so a pretty nice day to maybe even hit the slopes.